Lordy, Lordy, look who's 40. It's Fedora. Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In this video, we're going to check out the brand new release from Fedora, Fedora 40, because Fedora has had 40 releases now and I can't believe it. And Fedora is always a treat to review. I mean, they've been knocking it out of the park lately, but it's not just about that. They include the latest and greatest open source technology with a modern and well put together desktop. So as always, I'm very excited to check out the latest release. In fact, Fedora comes with GNOME 46, the latest version of the popular Linux desktop environment. This is the Spotlight desktop of Fedora 40, and this is actually the first time that we've looked at GNOME 46 on this channel, so we're getting a look at Fedora 40 and GNOME 46 for the first time at the same time. Now, this review will be a bit shorter than most because Fedora is one of those distributions that generally don't have a ton of new features in each and every release. Instead, Fedora brings us the latest and greatest technologies all under one distribution. So we're getting the latest GNOME desktop, the latest LibreOffice, Firefox, and things like that. And Fedora is packaged as a very impressive GNOME distribution. And you know what? Fedora has been, in my opinion, the GNOME desktop to beat. It's literally that good. And now that Fedora has had its 40th release, it's time to check it out. But before we do, I just want to let you guys know that the official Learn Linux TV shop has just been updated with brand new products. Inside the shop, you'll find distro-themed shirts, bags, drinkware, and more. And there's some other surprises there as well. For example, I've just introduced a mouse pad that doubles as a Tmux cheat sheet. How cool is that? You could get yourself something really cool and support Linux learning at the same time, so it's a win-win. So grab yourself some Linux swag and watch some Linux videos. What could be better than that? Anyway, I'm excited to check out the latest release of Fedora, so let's do that right now. And here's Fedora 40 in all its glory. We have the latest GNOME 46 desktop, custom Fedora branding, basically everything you'd expect to see if you're a longtime Fedora user. With each release, Fedora updates all or at least most of its components to the latest versions. This means you'll get the latest Linux kernel, the latest version of your favorite desktop environment, as well as a full suite of software. Unlike other distributions though, Fedora doesn't lean too heavily into new features. It's not that there's never anything new to look forward to, it's just that most new features in Fedora releases come from updated components, at least when it comes to user-facing changes. So Fedora is less about tentpole features and more about pushing the project as well as its community forward. That said, Fedora 40 of and by itself is a fantastic release. It has what is most likely the best integration of GNOME of any distribution of Linux. In fact, GNOME is integrated so well into Fedora that you'd swear it was designed specifically for Fedora. Even the way the distribution manages its updates and integrates that into GNOME software is an example of that. Fedora 40, just like with previous releases, provides the GNOME desktop pretty much as the developers intended. The only thing that's really changed is the wallpaper and there's also a Fedora logo on the screen as well, which is easy to disable if you don't like it. Other than that, Fedora ships GNOME without any customizations at all. But when it comes to GNOME 46, the latest version doesn't really add all that much. All the features in GNOME 46 are definitely welcome, but it's just that I don't think any of the features are all that memorable either. In fact, Fedora 40, like I mentioned earlier, is exactly what Fedora fans expect at this point. Fedora has found its core audience some time ago, and it does a fantastic job of providing fan service to that audience. But beyond that, Fedora doesn't really call all that much attention to itself. In fact, it's kind of boring. However, boring can be a great thing when it comes to your operating system. If your OS doesn't call much attention to itself, and you barely even know that it's there, then I'd say that's a really good thing. We'll get back to the video in just a moment, but I wanted to let you know that I have a brand new Linux course available, and if you're looking to get certified, then this one is right up your alley. Over on Udemy, I've just launched my first ever certification prep course, and this one will teach you everything you need to know in order to pass the Linux Essentials exam and become certified through the Linux Professional Institute. And with over 200,000 certification holders, LPI is the first and largest vendor-neutral Linux and open source certification body. Any certification through LPI is a credential that will definitely be an asset to your career. And my brand new course is a perfect tool to help get you there. With my Linux Essentials course, you'll enjoy over 23 lessons that will teach you valuable Linux skills. 
Each video will keep you engaged while breaking down each and every topic into easy to understand concepts that will make even the most challenging topics seem simple. In addition, you'll be able to follow along with hands-on examples that will have you working directly with Linux commands and technologies. Even if you are not planning on becoming certified, the Linux Essentials course from Learn Linux TV is a great way to get into Linux in general. So even hobbyists will benefit from this course as well. Now don't worry though, this new Udemy course doesn't change any content that you've been enjoying here on YouTube. My new and completely separate venture on Udemy is designed to help boost your skills even further, and meanwhile, the videos here on YouTube will continue as they've been for over 10 years now. So check out my brand new Linux Essentials course and pass that exam. I would really appreciate it. Now, let's get back to the video. Fedora 40 is a fast and responsive release for sure. It's reliable, and I really enjoyed my time with this release. Also, another thing that I like about Fedora is that it's quite possibly the best way of taking advantage of each new GNOME release. If you're a fan of GNOME, then Fedora is highly recommended. The GNOME experience is fantastic, as usual, so if you are a fan of GNOME, then you're probably already using Fedora, and if you're not, then what are you waiting for? In addition, I mentioned a few times that Fedora features some decent performance improvements, now, there's going to be performance improvements everywhere, and it would be impossible to list them all in this video. But some of these specific claims are that Search uses less memory now, terminal apps are supposed to perform better, and also screen sharpness, especially when it comes to fonts, is something that's seen a lot of focus as well. Overall, even though Fedora 40 is a bit on the boring side, it's really hard not to recommend it. You get the latest GNOME desktop, really good performance, a reliable system, I mean, what more could you ask for? And there you go. I hope you guys are enjoying Fedora 40 as much as I've been enjoying it. It's a fantastic release and I highly recommend it. Also, what I want you guys to do is subscribe to Learn Linux TV if you haven't already done so, because I have some awesome content coming very soon that I can't wait for you to see. Anyway, with all of that said, thank you again for checking out this video. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.